So I got my table saw and I didn't like the uh, way the switch was made. So this off button was really hard to press uh, when you wanted to turn off the saw, especially you had to look down. So what I did, I uh, tried to make a kill switch. First I put in a hinge into the switch. I was careful not to drill into some wires or so. And then we drew the pattern we wanted to make. After the pattern was dropped, we put some wood into the vise. Uh, we chose to use purple heart. And we cut it with a coping saw. Then we plane the piece and we cut it in two with the Japanese saw. After that it was just making ready for the carving of the stop sign into it. Uh, that job Mori did really beautifully. Here Morris is uh, making the, the finger switch, and uh, the finger part of the switch which goes under the tab. So we will glue it under the tab and this will represent the finger turning off the saw. Uh, you will see that later in the video, so it will be more clear. Um, I had to file the screws which were protruding out from the hinge into the wood. And then we drew it and Morris uh, did the cutting with the coping saw and later he sanded it. Uh, so it would have nice lines around. Uh, we used what is called the uh, indigo paper or copying paper. So we printed the stop sign and then what is copied it onto the wood. I put some masking tape to protect the sign, then sprayed it white. Uh, on the sender, I took off the excess of paint, which left me with this design. I screwed the tab back to the sew, and then I glued the little finger piece that goes to the tab, so it could turn off the sew. This is how I aligned it, that was the easiest way to do it. After that, I put some wax to protect the wood, and that was finished product, and it was ready to test. Uh, I'm really happy with it and it works really beautifully. Uh, I, I don't know how I did it before that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please give it a like, comment and share. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.